The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648 or internationally at 727 873 7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the November 19th, the terrific Tuesday or Taco Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie. Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, how about if we have an extraordinary one? Yep, let's have an extraordinary day. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right, when you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, one, it could mean we're about to get hit with a two-by-four. No, it means you and I can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. That means you can give us a call at 877-927-6648. We'd love to hear from you. We'll take a look at your instrument, multiple time frames, provide you with as much assistance as possible. If you can't call in, well, we've got you covered there. You can send me an email, but send it early, steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tigers. Did well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now we got the uh, a mixed market, a mixed bag out here. The Dow's off 108 points, four tenths of a percent to the downside. The S and P is up. It's basically flat. It's down two and a half points. Nasdaq is flat. It's up eight points. The Russell is not flat. Up a half a percent. The weak dog is the uh, leader out here. It's up eight points, trading at 1600. Semis are off 10 bucks, down six tenths of a percent. They're the leader percentage wise to the uh, downside. Spot volatile next up a couple percent, 27 pennies. Gold's up three bucks, silver 12 pennies. Lights we crewed off a buck 56. Natural gas down four cents. Uh, Treasury bonds up 19 ticks. Lead the charge dollar wise to the upside. Karuna Therapeutics up 31 bucks, 32 percent. Service now 12 bucks, 4 percent. Medicines up 11 bucks, 19 percent. Tesla eight dollars, two and a half percent. Downside leaders. Home Depot, 12 bucks, 5%. CoStar off 11, about 2%. Kohl's down 11 bucks, 18%. Yikes. Restoration Hardware off $8. Lamb Research off 5 So we do have things to look at. I, of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. No request yet. So let's just go take a look at the markets. What do we have going on? Well, if you take a look at today's candle inside the Dow out here, that is a bearish reversal candle. It is a key reversal candle. And if we take a look at what that candle is doing or appears to be doing, of course, it is not the end of the day. And it's going to be important as to does the Dow candle generate the bearish reversal candle that's in place right now. So what we can see here is you can see 1A to B, 1A to B equals CD pattern. There's a larger one out here, which we'll go take a look at. But we can see we're in between the 1 to 1 and the 1 to 1.272. Bearish reversal candle would confirm the old sell the D point of the A to B equals CD. So there's one of your A to B equals CD patterns. Let me just eliminate that one. You'll see the second one out here. The second one starting back on uh, June the 3rd. That's your A point. Your B point is uh, July 16th. Your C point of that A to B equals CD, August 15th, slow. And there you can see you're exactly, I shouldn't use the word exactly, pretty darn close to exactly that one-to-one -one price projection at 28.057. So now I've got two confirmed sell the D points of the A to B equals CD. 
All right, Steve-O. So you say sell the D point. Should I unload and sell now? Well, first, you should wait to see what the end of day candle is. Then you've got to go to step number two. What is step number two? You got to see price break through a key level of support. Let's go check in on that for the Dow. Here we take a look at the Dow. Where would you identify as the key level of support? Well, because you're listening in between one and two, you already know the answer to that. You may not know the value, but you know the answer. And you are going to say Stevie's red line or green line. Uh, not because of Christmas, just simply because red tells us that the price oscillator is below zero. The difference between two exponential moving averages, 19 and 39, whereas a green line tells us that the price oscillator is above zero. Nothing more bullish than a rising price oscillator above zero. And as we speak right now at 1.11 in the afternoon, even though we've got a perfect sell the D point, what we don't have is a break of support. And so we still have a rising price oscillator above zero. And therein lies the rub, so to speak. But if, in fact, price goes ahead and rubs against 27,849, that's Stevie's green line, and then decides to close below it, well, then what you've got is a confirmed sell the D point of the A to B equals C D point. However, what you then need to do is figure out, well, where's that next level of support in order to do your reward risk analysis? And for us, that level is going to be 27047.81. Yeah, we can get right, we can get granular if we really need to. Now, you might say, well, how do you know that that would be a secondary support level, Steve-O? Well, what the Dow did yesterday was it formed a TD setup nine count pattern. And the beauty about that pattern is it helps us to understand where the breakout levels are for any instrument, for any time frame. In this case, we're looking at the daily time frame for the Dow. And that level is that 27,407. There would be absolutely nothing wrong for price to pull back into that area. And if it did, that would be one of your buy the dip levels, as long as price stayed there. As long as price held, stayed, that's not the correct word, but as long as price held. If price fails, meaning closes below that, and we're, we're, we're not in there, I'm not making that call, just simply as long as we got this Dow chart up, what would be the next downside level of support that price would target? Well, that would be its prior TD nine count breakout area, and that's at the 26,714. So let's summarize the Dow Jones Industrials. As we speak at 113 in the afternoon, we've got to sell the deep point. We've got a topping signal. However, is it a top? Can't be a top until you at least break some level of support. And that first level of support up on the uh, deck would be 27,849, give or take. Now that number is going to change as price moves up or down. But you can use 27,849 if it's by a buck or two. Then it probably isn't very convincing. No conviction, so to speak, out there. But that's that's the level. Those are the numbers you want to be watching inside of the Dow. Now, do we have the same patterns when we take a look at the S&P 500? Well, let's go take a look. Let's go ahead and put the S&P 500 up here. Let's see what it is doing. We know it's off about three bucks. When we look at that candle, uh-oh, no bearish reversal candle. Now, we can look at the same A to B equals CD patterns out here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's pull this over here, your A point pattern, using the same the same swing point, so to speak. June 3rd is your A point. Um, July 26th is your B point. Uh, August 5th would be the C point. And you can see where's price at? Well, it's really right at the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. Do you sell the S&P 500? That's the question as we go into this break. I'll give you the answer. Absolutely, positively not. You've got no confirmation whatsoever. And price could be targeting 3202 for all we know. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we were taking a look at the S&P 500 before we went into that uh, break. Uh, we know that the S&P has completed the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD pattern, the larger A to B that we were taking a look at. That price projection was 31.21. And the uh, price will just simply continue to move higher until these sellers show up. And at this stage of the game, even though the candle has a red bar, it is not a bearish reversal signal. And therefore, the sellers really haven't shown up, not the way that we would need them to to confirm some type of topping pattern. Now, we could also see the S&P 500 uh, yesterday formed bar number nine of a TD setup nine count. That went ahead and created a breakout support level at 3065. Stevie's green line is uh, 3112. So figure 3111, 3112. Today, you would need to see a close below that to go ahead and confirm the sell, the D point of that A to B equals CD, which would then give you a price projection of 3065, at least your first price projection to the downside. At this stage here, all price is done in the S&P 500 for the most part is test Stevie's green line, the oscillator unchanged line. There is nothing more bullish than a uh, price oscillator that is rising above zero. And that's what that green line is telling us. It is the thing. It is the one line out there that can assist you with understanding whether the pullback is just a normal retracement or is it the beginning of something deeper. And at this stage here, it's nothing more than a test of support. 
Now, we don't have to just stop there because to understand the S&P 500, you and I have a special tool. That special tool brought to us by the folks over at Taz Market Profiles. And if we take a look at the Taz Market Profiles and market breadth for the weekly, daily, 240 and 60-minute time frame, that would be in your upper right-hand corner. You're going to see each of those dials are in the green. And what that means is that, there's, that there is positive or bullish market breadth. If we take a look at the NDX 100 as well, we can see all of those dials are also in the green. I don't have it for the Dow. I wish I did. Those 30 stocks, but I don't. We can take a look at some of the other sectors in there. For example, you can take a look at the XLF. XLF, healthy as can be. I mean, all those dials are on the green nodes. If you take a look at the XLK, Again, 6240 daily, weekly, everything looks bullish. The healthcare sector, everything is bullish. Those three sectors make up a significant portion of the S&P 500. If you go take a look at the XLP, that is all bullish out here. The XLU, the utilities, okay. Here you've got something that's in a bearish mode, sort of expected out there. If you take a look at the industrial sector, in the industrial sector, the 60-minute has a bearish crossover, meaning it's in the red section out here. But for the most part, in order for the S&P to get rolling to the downside, you're going to need to see the XLB, the XLK, the XLF start to give you early signals in its shorter term time frames. And it just simply is not there as we speak. Are you sure you want to close this application? I am. And we will. Let's go to our first question. Our first question here coming in from uh, Willie. Willie, I think this is the first time getting a uh, question from you. Thanks for taking the time to write in. And what Willie wants to look at is uh, the euro, U.S. dollar. Wants some comments on that. So let me go pull up the charts for the uh, euro, U.S. dollar. Should have probably done that ahead of time, but it's hard to do that when you don't know what the question is. But we're almost there. So uh, let's go take a look at it. And we'll begin by, and we may just end by, taking a look at the daily time frame here for Willie and for you. So what do we know about the uh, euro US dollar? One, it's trading out at about 1.107. I may have a little bit of a delay here, but here's what we know. Price, Willie, is trading above Stevie's red line. In fact, what the euro did was generated a bullish message yesterday. Well, how did it do that? It did it two ways. The first way, when Stevie's line changes color out there, as it did on the euro, U.S. dollar, really, was in November the 12th, just a handful of trading sessions ago. But when it does change colors, what it tells you and I is there's going to be an impending test, the key test, the bullish or bearish test. And what that bullish or bearish test is, is price and that red line are going to catch up to each other. And that is exactly what took place on Friday. And on Friday, you got the confirmation that the euro was still in a bearish mode. Well, that changed yesterday. And it changed yesterday because not only did price close above Stevie's red line, it closed above the resistance of its daily profile out there. That then suggests that what the euro should continue to do is bounce. Bounce to where? Well, you're going to have to go back to the prior highs. Right now, the only resistance I really have out here or decent resistance would be the bearish engulfing candle that formed on November 14th. That would appear to be the uh, price target right now for the euro U.S. dollar when we take a look at the daily time frame for it. So, uh, Willie, thanks for writing in. Uh, you say you are long. I see that now. And I have no reason to suggest that you would do anything else but stay long, at least for a short period of time. And I do mean a short period of time. Now, I don't know what that means, short period. I mean, keep your eyes glued to the screen out here. What you don't want to see is price close below 1.1049. Because that'd be back below Stevie's red line, but more importantly, back inside the uh, Taz market profile out there. And it might suggest uh, that you're uh, not on the proper side, but you are right now on the proper position. The reason I say caution is um, I've got several friends, and I know it's hard to believe. I even pinch myself just knowing that I have several friends out there. But what I was really going to say is I have several friends that are in the financial market. That's not kind of hard, too hard to figure out. And I was speaking with one of them uh, last week, uh, Thursday, I think it was. And uh, he, and he's big in the, when he, his firm, he and his firm, they're the gargantuan guys in the uh, debt marketplace worldwide. 
and I'm not going to, I'm not sharing with you anything that's confidential. And what he shared with me is that what's going on in China right now is they are issuing all kinds of debt in euros. Now, I just throw that out there to you, Willie. You're trading the, the uh, currency pairs out there. So, you, you, you know, maybe that piece of information might make you say, hmm, something to think about. I throw that out there to everybody else that's listening. Why would you be, why, if you were, it doesn't matter whether you're China or not, but why would the Chinese government be issuing debt denominated in euros? Hmm something to think about. But if you were going to issue debt that eventually had to be paid off, would you want to pay it back with a weaker or a stronger currency? Meaning the euros out there. It's interesting. It is interesting. Anyways, just something to think about. But Willie, right now for you, I am am in agreement. I see a continued upside move inside the euro, U.S. dollar. So thanks for writing in, and I look forward to hearing from you again. We've got another question as well that has come in, uh, and this is from John in Sarasota. And his question is about ticker symbol. We'll just punch it up here on the screen, but over the break, we're about to go to a breakout here. We'll spend some further time taking a look at the other charts, but it's ticker symbol P-R-O-S-Y. Prosis, I believe, is the uh, name. It's trade out at 1402 out here. It looks like it is a uh, IPO uh, taking us back into the uh, September time frame. So there is no weekly or monthly data that's going to help John and I. But he wants to know where is this heading? We'll do the best we can. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Be back in just a few. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we were taking a look at uh, ticker symbol. Let me uh, pull it back up here on our screen for John in Sarasota. Ticker symbol is P-R-O-S-Y out here and john's question is uh, you know where's this thing headed to so let's go take a look at stevie's white background charts oh boy <clears throat> uh, not a lot of uh let me see if i can pull this back and generate uh, what a bummer this is gonna be there we go so here's what i can share with you john right now we can see that uh our price was pushing lower, doing less relative energy on November 14th. I'm going to just simply boil it down to you like this. It's headed to 1425. It's trading at 1402 right now. 1425 is where price broke down. That was on October 25th. That set up a, a TD setup nine count pattern out there. Um, I can see because of the limited amount of trading that it's done, it's kind of screwing with my TAS market profiles out there. If price can clear the 1425 level, it could make its way up to about $15 and change out there. But $14.25, John, is what I would be looking for for ticker symbol P-R-O-S-Y out there. And uh, best of luck uh, with that uh, trade. Let me see if there is any other questions out here. Um, yeah, Pat writes in. So let's go take a look at Pat. Can uh, Steve, can you show the DeMarc Chapman wave counts and the queues on a daily basis? So I don't, I can only show the TD setup nine counts, Pat, but then I'll do that for you with regard to the QQQ series ETF. Um, and you want the uh, wave counts. Um, let me just pull over my automated system. I'll, we continue to uh, uh, make uh, programming changes to this for you. But uh, here, this just automatically populates for me. The only thing it's not doing right now is carrying over the current count. Um, let me let me do it. Let me do it manually out here because you're asking for this. Well, you're saying daily, weekly, and monthly. Um, let me start with the TD setup nine count with regard to the QQQ series. Today is going to be the day after bar number 10. You, you can see here uh, is that uh, what price has done so far today, it's pulled back and tested support. That is Stevie's green line. That's a 202.75 level out there. So it remains bullish, although it does have a, a potential topping signal uh, from the daily time frame. With regard to uh, wave counts out here, uh, I've got it in probably wave wave number B or wave number two on the daily time frame out here. Let's go take a look at what the weekly time frame shows us. It shows us um, no topping uh, signal. It'd be in wave number C. Again, you know, when the next version of the software rolls out to me, uh, it'll go ahead and update. Uh, um, it'll go ahead and update the current uh, count. It's, expect it's waiting right now to confirm the current count, but I can see wave number Three, uh, letter C, would be it. As far as the TD nine count, only bar number six on a weekly time frame. When we take a look at the monthly chart out here, it'll be wave number or bar number four, uh, bar number three, bar number three from a monthly perspective. And uh, the accounts on the uh, wave count to the upside could be either G, B, or C. So I've got three different uh, uh, counts that are present out there. So that's the information I think, Pat, that you were looking for. I hope that helps you out. Thanks for taking the time to write in. So no other questions uh, so far. Uh, none, I think, in the den, although I was asking a question earlier for some additional feed. Oh, they're hogs. Ruby wants to take a look at hogs. So let's go take a look at hogs. And John, if you want to respond to my other question just assist me what you're looking for in xop and some of those other symbols i'd be happy to take a look at that now ruby i believe you said you took a long position did you say long let me see here uh i bought february hogs this morning 
at the close of the four hour time frame gap. Can you see a counter trend rally from here? So you're asking about the four hour time frame, and uh, that's not going to, uh, unfortunately, but see, let me just provide you with what I can provide you with on a 40, uh, four hour time frame, and it's not going to be much. Uh, Ruby, my apology, um, uh, but let me just let me just give you my read with regard to Lean Hogs, the uh, February contract uh, trading out at seventy point two two, and what I see out here is I see more likely an A to B equals CD to the downside, perhaps a Gartley buy pattern, and that would the first the A to B equals CD because price is trading below that B point out there, so it doesn't matter to me whether it's volume or no volume out here. Once you pass that swing point, um, you know that's the pattern that is in play, and so the one to one level would be sixty eight twenty one to one point two seven two sixty five ninety one. Ideally, price will move down there, and I know you're long right now. I'm just going to, um, I'm just simply going to give you my call. Um, I think it's a pretty decent call uh, and something for you to consider out there. But decent calls have gone awry. The reason why I say it's a decent call is I just want you to take a look at the explosion off of the C point. So when you do, you do, anybody do, uh, when you use the A to B equals CD tool, uh, what you should do is really the the, the First and most important thing is make sure that because uh, some people will do it with their own line tools out there. Make sure that you're using the exact. Now, when I say exact, I don't mean exact. I mean exact. The exact angle of the A to B point. If you are trying to understand the strength or weakness of that C to D move. Now, my tool automatically does that uh, for us. And so what we can see, Ruby, what you and I are looking at out here is we are taking a look at how price is trading along the left-hand side of that exact C to D angle. And what that tells you is that the move down is stronger on the C to D leg than it was on the A to B leg. And therefore, it just provides you with caution. And today is no, today right now, as we speak, it's a doji candle out here. That's certainly not a bullish reversal signal. And instead, I would be, I would prefer to uh, be able to report to you, hey, this just confirmed a Gertley buy pattern. But it's not there yet. It has more work to do to the downside as well as generate that bullish reversal signal. And that's what I see with my little eyes when I take a look at lean hogs for February. So I hope that that uh, helps you out. And uh, thanks so much for uh, writing in. Uh, John, what he's looking at is several different instruments. Uh, and those instruments being, and the question is, XOP, FCG, IEZ, XES. Um, any indicators or count suggesting bottoming potential? So let's go take a look at uh, XOP, the first one out of the gate out here. Let's get that ticker symbol fired away uh, because John is looking for signals. We're just going to stay with our Ninja Trader charts because when I take, use my e-signal charts out there, they're what they're providing you and I with are the um, easy way to take a look at the TAS market profiles. And so to answer your question, well, first I've got to get this thing lined up. The answer, John is today is going to be, looks like bar number five of a TD setup nine count. And bar number five is pulling right back into two potential support levels. One being the bottom of the profile, 2057. The second being the breakout area from September 4th, 2009 at the 2069 level. So that's what XOP is uh, suggesting to you and I. It's pulling back into a breakout area. Prior bottoms, this area, you know, should hold. And if it doesn't hold, boy, it's telling us about some more significant problems inside the XOP. We'll go take a look at what those more significant issues are on the monthly time frame chart as soon as we get back from this break. Steve Rhodes with TFN. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000.
The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at uh, ticker symbol XOP. That's the S&P Oil and Gas Exploration and Production ETF. And uh, one of the things that I'd mentioned was, was the monthly time frame chart as we were cruising into the uh, break. And one of the problems with the uh, monthly chart is prices trading, in essence, uh, near uh, its all-time lows. That actually occurred last month, but below key levels of support, swing points, taking you back into November of 2008. That's where price is trading below for the S&P oil and glass, oil and gas or glass uh, exploration and production ETF out there. The other issue is that uh, with price on any bounce out here, uh, price has found resistance at Stevie's red line. It's red on a monthly basis. Tells you you've got a falling price oscillator long term below zero now if we take a look what it's also doing though uh first it looks like it's going to be bar number seven of a td setup nine count price has been moving lower doing less relative energy if by the end of the month in xop you see some type of reversal and a bullish reversal candle out there well that could confirm that bottom and then what you'd be looking for is a close above 2402 to suggest uh, some further upside potential into the 45 dollar area but it's not there on the daily time frame yes price did pull back to support whether it's the bottom of the uh, daily profile or that breakout area but without some kind of bullish reversal signal john i would be hesitant to say that yeah this has found some type of a bottom out here based upon the patterns that are present you would also ask about another ticker symbol out here uh let's do that let's see what this is f c g is the ticker symbol let me get that going and it looks really similar but not exactly the same so 
let's go ahead and put FCG up on my uh, TAS profile, see if there's anything out there to guide us along the path here. So price hasn't pulled all the way back to 10.05. That is the bottom of the daily profile, but it is trading right now below the bullish structured weekly profile. And that's not really a great uh, thing out here. We take a look at FCG. Let's pull over my other charts, any type of bottoming signal. Uh, today's going to be bar number seven bar number seven of a uh, TD setup and nine count. We know that bars eight, nine, or 10 could be the bottom of that pattern. So, you know, watch that uh, for, a, uh, for a potential bottoming signal out here. Uh, you'd obviously like to see price hold that 10.05 level if that is the way that things are forming. Um, in the case of its monthly, as you say, they're all in the energy sector out here. In the energy sector, uh, this was going to also be bar number seven, looks like this month here of a TD setup nine count. So maybe the longer term charts, John, are telling you and I that the bottom inside this environment doesn't come until maybe December or January when the monthlies form those TD set up nine count patterns. The last one inside of uh, FCG on a monthly basis, the last significant bottom was just with that same pattern. It was bar number eight that had confirmed that and led to a bounce for a period of uh, many months out there. So hopefully that helps you out. We can take a look at the others after we get through a couple of other requests out here, uh, if you would uh, like. Uh, Jimmy and... Um, I believe a few others want to take a look at natural gas out here. So let's go take a look at uh, nat gas. Let me do this. Uh, let me do this. Let me come over to my uh, Ninja Trader 8 charts out here. So combination of things. Here, if I pull up the... So we'll start with natural gas by looking at the monthly time frame. In the monthly time frame, what we can see is this at bottom with a nice TD setup nine count pattern it did that back in looks like july but let me give you the exact month out here local so that was on uh august okay it's my eyes you know so in the month of august from a monthly perspective, gave us nice bottom. Price went ahead and uh, last month closed above its red line, suggesting a, a more bullish outcome out here. And so far, what's really taken place, uh, for those of you following natural gas, it just pulled back and tested support, $2.51. That's on the monthly time frame. Weekly time frame says, hey, price could pull back to 243 and uh, still be no problem out here. That would be Stevie's red line. Uh, looks like the top of its weekly box is about 237. Let's trust the 243 level out here. If I look at the daily time frame, what I don't see out here, uh, guys and gals, is any kind of bullish reversal candle. And instead, what it looks like is more of an A to B equals C to the downside uh, that is unfolding. Let's go do that. I can't do that. I don't have that uh, tool on NinjaTrader 8 just yet. So instead, let me come back to natural gas. Um, let me see. Do I have it on my synthetic contract? Do I, do I, do I, do I, do I, or don't I? We're going with don't I. So we got natural gas. Let me uh, roll over here into the uh, January. Let's do that into the uh, G20. Not the G20, but, you know, the G20 on the contract. Let's go take a look at natural gas and take a look at that potential A to B equals CD pattern. Um, uh, and, it's, and it's this one here. Let me just kind of explode it out for you and this is what this is what we've got to be looking for uh your a point out here on uh, november 5th your b point on november 13th and your c point out here on november 15th and one to one for natural gas could take us back into about the 242 level out there so um you know here here's the deal uh, Jimmy, here's the deal and, and everyone else, and it doesn't matter how cold it is out there. Right now, what uh, traders are communicating to you and I is that it uh, looks like natural gas still wants to head lower out there. So I hope that that helps you out with regard to uh, natural gas. And, and if you take a look at, again at the, the bottom of the uh, weekly profile is about 248. So figure this 242, 248 area is likely where price is uh, targeting to the uh, downside. Hope that that uh, helps you out, uh, Tucker, Jimmy, and the gang.
out there. Let me see. I don't have any other questions. So uh, why don't we uh, why don't we kind of circle back around, try to get a feel for what the uh, markets are doing? We talked about the S&P. We talked about the uh, Dow. What else is it that we can talk about out here? Let's just take. So you've got this uh, market that is. Uh, um, uh, is giving us uh, different messages, right? The, the Dow was giving us a message that said, hey, uh, sell the D point, but needs some conviction, needs to see a level of support being broken. The S&P is saying, um, sorry, topping signal, but no confirmation out there. So what else is it that you and I can take a look at? Well, one of the things that Stevie's watching, one of the things that Stevie and subscribers are watching is the New York Stock Exchange. Not that you and I can trade it, because you and I can't trade it. But what we can do is we can take a look at some of the signals being generated there. And one of the signals being generated, it formed yesterday, was what I will call a, um, a, a zero threshold failure. But uh, gee, uh, what the heck is that? Well, if we take a look at the advanced decline oscillator, that is panel number two in my chart out here. Uh, the zero line, the white line, when price is below that, or when the oscillator is below that, it's telling us about sellers being in control. It's below that. That's not what's important. On Friday, price got up to the zero line. The question was, yesterday, would we see a turn back down? And the answer is, we did. It's a warning shot. That's all right now. We'll cover it when we get back from this break. Basil Chapman has just announced a live 90-minute webinar he'll be conducting for subscribers to his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, which will be taking place Tuesday, November 19th from 5 till 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, titled A Comprehensive Review of the Chapman Wave Techniques and Market Outlook Ahead for 2020. This is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial to The Opening Call while gaining access to Basil's live subscriber event taking place later this month. With some stock picks up 15 to 30% this year alone, Basil will review many of the Chapman Wave techniques that helped in their successful analysis, as well as providing the sectors and stocks that he thinks will be of importance heading into 2020. For all the details, check out the opening call on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of living a primal lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN.
Welcome back, folks. So before we went to uh, break, we were uh, we were taking a look at the New York Stock Exchange, the advanced decline, oscillator reading, and I was pointing out to you how it had turned down below zero. Now, if you're watching us on Tiger TV, you're going to see a number of red arrows pointing downward in that uh, bottom panel. Those are each lining up with the arrows in the uh, chart for the New York Stock Exchange out there. And then down below that is the uh, uh, spot volatility index, which we haven't spoken about today. Um, turning down below zero tells us that sellers are in control of the market for the New York Stock Exchange, so the wider swath of the market out here. But here's the deal. Uh, each of those red arrows, you'll see a couple of green arrows at the bottom, those green arrows at the bottom coinciding with the other red arrows out there, but those are telling us when the spot volatility index was below its 50-day exponential moving average, which it is right now. Real rocking and rolling to the downside doesn't take place until you see price trading above the 50-day exponential moving average for the spot volatility index. That's a mouthful. That price level is 14 29. Just be aware that there is a signal out here that works really well, but in tandem with that spot volatility index. Now, to finish the uh, day out, Brent is writing in and alerting folks to the potential of a uh, bottom in the uh, pot sector, canopy growth specifically. Uh, people have been calling about this or writing in about this for uh, weeks out here. And today, if we take a look at it as Boint, as, as, Boint, as uh, Brent has pointed out, today is a key reversal candle. Key reversal candle where both the prior day's high and low have been exceeded. That is the case out there. And as long as there's one tick to the upside, the opposite of the uh, trend direction out there, uh, that becomes a key reversal session. It happens to be a piercing candle as we speak right now. And it is confirming the potential of a three drive to a bottom pattern. So this is the first time for all of you pot smoke, uh, pot uh, chartists out there. Uh, when we're taking a look at canopy growth, I don't know about the others, where it's giving you a potential signal. Ideally, what you'd like to see, there's no other, no other pattern, Brent, that I have out here, but it is a three drive to a bottom, and it is being confirmed with a bullish reversal candle, a key reversal bullish candle out there. And the question is, will price be able to take out its oscillator and change line of 1643? But there's hope for all of you that want to invest in pot. Hey, have a great day, folks. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow.